Yo what up guys, Mysterious here and today we're back with a new video on the How to Beat series and this week it's gonna be LeBlanc Myth, one of my favorite champions and I've got a lot of experience on her and I know exactly what she dislikes and how you can beat her in game. So uh, I'm gonna do it a bit differently, I'm not gonna give her the strengths and the weaknesses, I'm just gonna purely look at what does LeBlanc dislike and how can we actually beat her knowing what she dislikes. So. What does she dislike in general in the enemy team? She dislikes hard CC since she's quite squishy. She also dislikes wave clear because she has pretty much none of it. Um, also survivability, she has pretty long cooldowns and is mainly focused around bursting. Um, also interrupt, she has a lot of dashes so Poppy W really messes her up. And she uh, doesn't like immense split push because of the combination of uh, low wave clear and usually split pushers are quite tanky and she cannot really um, deal with them consistently. So the interesting part is how do we use this information to actually beat LeBlanc? And we can do that in lane and in mid game. And it's basically two different ways of how we can actually beat her. So in lane, it's all about LeBlanc's W. She has 18 seconds cooldown on her W in level one. And that's basically what all of her trading revolves around. That's most of her damage. And we can abuse that by, first of all, counting it. And um, how we can use this is usually mid laners have shorter cooldowns than 80 seconds on their main trading ability in lane. So we count down LeBlanc's W cooldown and we play aggressive when she doesn't have it up and we respect when it's up. Also, the LeBlanc W is her main wave clear ability. On the other hand, her wave clear is extremely low. So if we hold the wave on our side, she either has to make a decision between trading, shoving the wave, and it's also her escape tool that she loses if she decides to use it on the wave. So LeBlanc is very vulnerable when we have the wave on our side and it's hard for her to shove it out. Also, um, LeBlanc's W is quite easy to tether. LeBlancs really want to trade with you in lane when they have the W up. So we want to go move in and out of the range to bait it out and make sure that she wastes it. So we get basically a free lane for 18 seconds after that. We're also very good at extended trades into LeBlanc. She's a bursty champion. So how can we abuse this? Well, if she Ws forward, you, she usually goes back straight after that. And if we go back, of, if we move with her to where her old location of the clone is, um, she cannot really escape and go for those non-committal traits. So if we move into her W when she uses it, she kind of struggles and she most of the time won't really expect it because most people walk backwards whenever LeBlanc tries to W forward. Defensive stats are good. She's bursty, so extended traits makes it easier for us to um, play into her. Also, clearer vision. LeBlanc is usually 2v2 champion, she wants her jungler to come and clearing her vision makes it harder for her to jump in, also harder for her jungler to gank, so that's also a nice way to, to, to beat LeBlanc. In mid game, it's a bit different and we gotta really understand what LeBlanc wants to do. And how to beat LeBlanc in the mid game is understanding that she wants to make picks on you. She is playing with the special ops mindset. She is in your jungle. She is first at objectives, waiting to snack you out, waiting to kill you. And if we can prevent this and force her to team fight, we can basically put ourselves already in a bit of an advantage because that's not what LeBlanc is good at. So I'll give you some examples um, with the Summoner's Rip map toolkit. And we're gonna take a look at where LeBlanc likes to sit and how we can avoid this in the game. All right, so right now we're looking at the Summoner's Rip map and I'm gonna give you some examples on what LeBlanc likes to do and where she likes to sit in which areas. So we're gonna pretend that uh, LeBlanc is blue side in this game. Or actually, let's make it red side. That's a bit easier. So LeBlanc's red side and we're going into the mid, lane, uh, mid game. So what LeBlanc wants to do is she wants to sit in your jungle and she wants to make picks. So for sure the bushes are places that we gotta be very careful about. My personal favorites are, um, especially these bushes. So my personal favorites is this one, especially this one if I have the chance to get there, and possibly this one. The deeper in the jungle, the easier it is because it's easier to spot squishy people out since they have the feeling that they're safe while they're actually not. So what I like to do, 
when an objective comes up, I recognize it in advance. About one, one and a half minutes when I'm playing LeBlanc, I recognize, okay, Drake's coming up, it's time to, to make something happen. So what I do is I jump over this dragon pit here with, with my sweeper. I don't go through here, I don't go through here. And the reason why I jump over here is because I have a sweeper and most of the wards are actually in these bushes to prevent the entrances and not right here. So they will not see me coming. And I'll jump over here uh, with my sweeper to secure that I am actually not spotted. And I walk from this bush to this bush to this bush. And no one's seeing me and I will be in this bush waiting to, to catch a squishy out that maybe goes for red buff or, or somewhere like that. And they always get caught off guard because they don't expect it. So how can we counter this? Well, first of all, deep vision. We can place deep vision around here and around here. That's usually where, where you come from as LeBlanc. And that already spots her out before she even do this, does this. That's, that's one thing. Another thing we can prevent this is by understanding what LeBlanc wants to do. Understanding that she is in your bot side jungle somewhere. You just gotta go as a group. So if, if, if the support walks with the AD and they walk together or maybe a, a champion with CC like a poppy, LeBlanc cannot do anything. She's basically stuck in, in the jungle she has to back off. And if you manage to do that and you get vision on her, she's basically already in, in trouble. She wastes a lot of time, she sacked some minion waves. And that gives you a nice advantage here and probably a, a, a good start on, on the objective. On the other side, on, um, on the top side, it's, it's a bit different. So what I like to do on LeBlanc is I like to either uh, sit around this edge and make sure that I have a ward right there or I sweep. So when I walk, someone walks there, I jump over and I kill them. Um, I also really like this push. This is a bit, bit less. You shouldn't really expect it to be in that one uh, too often. Unless uh, your topside jungle is completely taken over by the enemy team and there's a ward there. Since that is a bit of an awkward curve, uh, neither on this one. It's less prevalent than all the, than all the others, but uh, she will be in your jungle. Th that's, that's what we said. Another way we can counter LeBlanc is by, in, in mid game, and there's no objectives up, is by pinning her down under turret, answering side waves, and getting a lot of vision right here. So LeBlanc's top. We're top and we're playing Ari and we're equal uh, versus LeBlanc and we got Merc Thread. So we're not under a lot of threat uh, for her. So what we can do is we can just shove the wave with our uh, faster wave clear than, than, than LeBlanc. And we shove the wave, we ward right here and LeBlanc's basically stuck answering this wave on the turret. We maybe go there, hover our teammate on mid and then we, we do the exact same thing. Especially when we're ahead versus LeBlanc, LeBlanc really struggles to do this. And her wave clear really takes a hit on that um, because she also has no pressure in the lane. Uh, so, so that's another way to really beat down LeBlanc and make sure that she actually becomes nullified and cannot make these picks. That's basically our mindset. Our mindset is that she's unable to make these picks. So to give a final note and a conclusion on how to beat LeBlanc, in lane, it's all about her W. Track her W, keep counting in your mind and play around it in any kind of way. Get yourself mercs uh, or any other defensive item so she cannot one-shot you. And in the mid game, make sure that you don't get all, caught, all, caught off by her and walk deep into the enemy jungle. Make sure you spot her that she's on vision all the time and play safely. As long as you do not die versus LeBlanc, you should be in a good spot. So in lane, it's all about a W. In mid game, do not die and let your team don't get caught. So that's going to be the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed. It was the first time with Facecam and um, this will probably be continued. So next week we got another champion going on and let me know which one is going to be. And I thank you all for watching the video and I wish you guys a great day. Bye bye.